Hi guys, Debbie here. Welcome to my channel or welcome back. And I'm super excited to be filming this video because I'm going to be talking about one of my favourite brands and it's Melt Cosmetics. And they've recently released, or they're going to today, I'm filming this on the 8th of January, a blueprint palette. So blues mixed with neutrals, which if I'm going to wear blue, blue isn't my favourite colour for eyeshadow, but if it's mixed with neutrals, I can get on board with it. I've already got the stack. Now they seem to be moving away from this stack formula like this and moving on to creating the same colour story but within a palette. I decided not to get the palette but I thought it might be fun for you guys to see the shadows and the colours in action because it's exactly the same colours that they've used in the palette and decide whether you want to pick it up or not and, and even if you don't there's probably other shades in your collection that you can kind of dupe the look. So without further ado, let's jump into the video. I'll tell you a bit about the stack and the colours that are in it so that you can see what you'll be getting in the palette. And we'll create this eye look together. I wanted to do something super smoky and try and use as many of the shades as I could, but do something a bit more, I don't know, deep, as I say, grungy and smoky. I've done looks before with the stack. I'll also link those if you're interested to see a few more looks with it. But as I say, let's jump straight into the video. <laughs> okay guys so as i say it came in like this packaging like this it's one of the traditional stack kind of situations where you've got a mirror on the top and you've got four uh, magnetic kind of pans in there but this one was unusual because you had split pans and i thought that was a great idea and then they just stopped doing the stacks pretty much after they did this one but you've got some neutrals in there so you've got a shimmer shade there that's like a bronzy shade and then you've got a deep brown matte and it is what I've got in my crease there. You've also got some very crumbly shimmers but very very beautiful so there's a couple of blue shimmers in that split pan. Then you've got a bit more golden and kind of peachy kind of shimmers in this one, golden brown and a, a kind of peachy duochrome almost. And then a navy matte and a deep navy shimmer. I love navy shadow but it is a bitch to work with. You'll see when I create this look how much trouble I had with fallout which I think I've just about managed to cover. It would definitely be advisable if you buy the palette to do your eye makeup first particularly if you're going in with those deep shades and I think you'll probably need a glitter primer to get the most out of the shimmers so that they don't flake all over your face or spray your brush. But let's jump into the tutorial. I'll show you how I created this really smoky look and you'll see about four or five of the shades in action and me blending them together. Hopefully that'll give you an idea of, of what the formula's like, but also see some of the colors. And as I say, if you don't have this, this stack and you're not intending to get the palette, just use what you have and create something similar. I think we've probably all at this point got a brown, a navy, a shimmery blue. You know, you can find things to create the vibes of it. But I wanted to show you how I create a smoky eye and kind of how I've adapted my technique to do it. So let's just hop into the tutorial and I'll catch you on the other side with some final thoughts on the shades that I've used and sort of wrap up the video and whether I think you need the palette. Okay guys, I'll zoom you in nice and close and we're going to start with priming with the MAC Painterly Paint Pot. I'm going to prime all over because I'm going to be doing a bit of a smoky eye and I'm not sure how far up I'm going to take it. So I'm just going to literally cover everything, just cancel out the veins and redness. So we're going to use the deep blue from the stack as the main focus of the look. I want a neutral crease, so I'm going to use the shade Hammered in my crease. And I'm going to use a bit of Skylight in the inner corner. And I'm going to do a bit of a rounded shape today. And I'm going in with a fluffy brush. This is one by Crown. And I'm just going to focus that in my crease. I've always found the stacks to be somehow more blendable and just all round better quality than the palettes. But I oh know Mel are moving everything into the palette and as I said in the intro this uh, was in a stack for a very short period of time so it was a limited edition and it disappeared very quickly and I picked it up because I like to wear neutrals with blue because if you've been here before you know I'm not the biggest 
fan of blue eyeshadow. Everybody always tells me it looks nice on me when I use it, but I'm never that much of a fan on it, of it on myself. But that is looking nice, easy to blend and a nice tone. I'm just gonna take some of that under my lower lash line as well. I want this to be blended out, kind of blown out kind of look, but with a lot of smoky blue on the lid. There isn't a lighter blending shade in the stack on there won't be in the palette because they're the same so I've taken a bit bigger brush to try and blend using that. I do find it a little bit easier if I've got a a lighter tone blending shade but it's just takes time and patience just to blend a shadow like this out. So I think that's the foundations for the look. Maybe just want to take a little bit more in my crease just to intensify it now I've blown that out. So you always lose a bit of the intensity when you blend. I'm trying to keep my eye open so you can just see that bit of crease poking through above my eyelid. I don't have hooded eyes but my eyes are set back quite far so sometimes my crease work can get lost. So I'm just pretty much repeating the same steps as I've just done, just making sure everything's blended. So then we're going to take Dim Out, the matte, and put that in the outer part. I'll start with quite a stiff brush to do that so I don't get too much fallout because I've done my face makeup first and this is quite a fallout heavy shadow formula. A bit of fallout there but we're just going to ignore it and carry on. So using this kind of deep colour you're better really to do your base last but I don't like to do that. It's a beautiful matte blue though, really really intense, really pretty. Now I've got that down I'm going to start working that into my crease and I am going to pull a touch of it across my crease as well because I want to give us something for that shimmer shade to blend into. A little goes a long way with this blue so be very very careful when you dip into the pan I'm literally just tap and then applying it and building it up because otherwise as I say you will get a lot of fallout I've got quite a bit of fallout here but we're just going to ignore that so I'm just working that forward into my crease to about two thirds of the way across this is going to be deep and smoky and intense Back to the big fluffy brush now, this is the Clydos S1. Just blending that blue with the brown to really kind of transition those two together. So it's just building the foundations for this smoky look and then it will make it really easy to make it smoked out on the lid. Taking a tad more of the blue, just going a little bit higher. And I want to get some of this blue onto my lower lash lines. I'm going to use a smudge brush and that same blue shade and just stamp that as close as possible to my lower lash line. And then just taking a clean fluffy brush I'm just going to blend that into the, the matte brown shade that we started with. That way we'll get it fairly blown out but we won't end up with raccoon eyes which you can sometimes end up going too blown out with a deep colour like this I think. In with NYX Glitter Primer, just going to cover the majority of my lids with that and then go in with that deep blue shimmer. I'm going to take the shimmer fairly high. I find sometimes when I'm putting a shade on my lid I don't go high enough so just trying to make sure that I've gone right into my crease with that glitter primer. And then we're going in with the deep blue shimmer. For this look I want to take the shimmer pretty much to the corner. Taking it a bit at a time but also I'm using the brush that had the glitter primer on so it's sticking it down a bit easier so there's not so much fallout. And then back into my crease just to make sure I've blended that shimmer with the mattes that we've already laid down. So it's just a 
backwards and forwards kind of look really to try and achieve like a, a gradient for a smoky eye. They're not the easiest or the quickest to create, particularly not with shadows that are as intense as this. So I'm just really working that shimmer into my crease and into the mats that are there. I think we've lost a little bit of the neutral crease that already, so I'm going to go back in with the brown and just further blend, blend out with that original brown shade. I'm not going to be afraid of taking it into this corner area because I think that can really add to the drama and the smoke in the look. This is one of these looks that challenges me because it's all about the blend and blending is not my my strong suit but I think this year because I'm going to be more focusing on using things I have it's going to be more about practicing the techniques rather than trying all the new things. I think it might be nice to have a brow bone highlight with this look so I'm going to go in with the shade Beaming. Just going to pop that just very sparingly just above my brow there and then I'm going to take Starlight in my inner corner this is such a pretty shade. So I'm just dragging that just onto the lower lash line as well. It's one of those really textured shimmers. It looked beautiful all over the lid. All right, so that's the look to this point. Just gonna hop off camera for something in my waterline, mascara and a lip. I'll be back with you with the finished look and to wrap up the video. Okay guys, so here's the finished look. I think it looks super pretty and it's the sort of blues that I can get down with. I really feel myself in this look actually. I think it looks really, really stunning and quite smoky and kind of nighttime appropriate, I guess, but it's definitely the way I would like to wear blue anyway. In my waterline, I've gone with a NYX pencil. This is the shade Azure. I just wanted to bring out a little bit more of that shade that I've got in the inner corner and I think it worked to do that and just lighten things up a little bit because it's obviously a very smoky look and then I've used a melt lipstick this is the shade Stepford a little bit of a cool tone mauvey kind of brown but I think it works with it and yeah I think it looks really really pretty so I had fun using the stack again and fun shopping my stash I've had this stack for I don't know, well over a year I would say, and it just reminded me when I saw that the palette was coming out that I just haven't used it very much. So yeah, it's been fun to do. Now, my thoughts on the, the shades inside, super fallout heavy formula. Don't go swirling your brush in there because you'll get so much fallout. I literally only ever tapped to the pan and fallout was just raining down my face. I was trying to brush it away sort of off camera and I've covered it up with concealer and a bit more highlight, but it kind of, you know, was a bit more than I expected there to be. It's been a long time, as I say, since I've used this. So if you want to get a super intense look, probably do your eyes first and your face makeup second. But you can create some really like just easy neutral looks with this. Like you've got a, a nice sort of couple of shimmers there, which if you use that brown matte that I used in my crease and then just either one of these on the lid, you've got a nice super easy daytime appropriate, you know, just neutral look. But you can go super dark and smoky like I've done here. I mean that blue shimmer shade, the shade King stirred out of here, just beautiful and as I say I love a navy matte as well I'm always down with those this shade the light blue the starlight shade uh, was just so magical in the inner corner I can't wait to play with that again and put that on my lids I think doing maybe a cut crease with the deep blue and then just having that by starlight on the lid could look absolutely stunning and then as I say you could go a bit more smoky but just use the bronzy shades out of here there's so much you could do with this palette if you buy it. You're not gonna be able to buy the stack because it's not available anymore, but if you decide to go for the palette and you like blues and you like neutrals and you like the mix of them together, then I think, that, as I say, it's very versatile. And I'm still on the fence as to whether to buy the palette because the stacks are awkward, really. I've bought a, a metal tin to store them in to kind of make things a bit easier because they are a little bit kind of tricky. I haven't used nearly enough of these up, so I, I really don't need it, but they still pull to me. I don't know what it is about 
about melt and how they package things and market things but they just make you want it all so as i say the palette releases today as i'm filming this i'm hoping to get this video up today so it's in time to help you make your decision do you want to pick up the palette do you maybe have things that you can dupe it with in your collection or maybe you've got the stack and you're trying to decide like me do you need the palette as well i honestly don't think you do really it's just more the convenience of having the palette packaging which you know, I probably would have preferred if I hadn't got the stack, but now I've got the stack, that's what I'm probably going to stick with. So that's my views on it. You'll have to let me know, guys, are you planning to pick it up? Are you excited to see a new release from Melt? There's not been one since the Beetlejuice collection, which was October, so it's nice to see them coming out with another palette, and I think it's nice that they're revisiting some of the stacks from the past. I'm waiting for the Gunmetal one, personally. I can't wait to see if they do that. And also the haze stack, I thought that was really, really beautiful with lots of shimmers in it. So if they could do something to combine those two together, that would just be perfect. So yeah, I'm really excited to see them converting some older products from the past that everybody loved, but making them into a bit more user-friendly format. So yeah, that's my thoughts. Uh, if you're new to my channel, then thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you might consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell. My channel's all about exploring the makeup that you have at the moment. I'm on a no buy for 2021, but I'm going to try and show you as much as I can what you can create with what you already have and duping the vibes of things that are perhaps coming out. So videos similar to this one. I don't know what exactly else I'm going to be doing through the year, but I'm definitely going to be revisiting the multitude of palettes and combinations that I've got in my collection and I'm 52 I play with a lot of colour I don't think there's too many channels of my age doing that so if you're my kind of age or whatever age you are as I say I hope you might consider joining me but as I say that brings us to the end of the video and I hope you're having a lovely day or night wherever you are guys catch you in the next one bye guys